Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Tanmay Mojumdar staying with you. Today we will learn about some tools like select by location and intersect through a, a spatial analysis project. Our project is a spatial analysis of roads and structures through GIS. Now I am introducing you with our project. You are given the following spatial data sets with Lambert conformal projection for Tekna Purushava. One administrative boundary to road both polyline and polygon and structure. Now you are asked to find out the total number of structures based on their land uses for each word within a distance of 20 meter. Structure those are within the given distance or even touch the buffer distance from the road. And the second question is calculate the percentage of road based on road area as per their road type for each word. So let's begin with the project. Here is our four layers road both polyline and polygon structure and administrative boundary of Tekna Purushava. Our first question is to find out the total number of structures based on land uses for each word within the distance of 20 meter. Our first task is to find out the structure within 20 meter of road. So now we use the select by location tool. Go to select by location then we want to find out the structure so our target layer is structure and source layer from road we choose our structure within 20 meters so source layer is road and we are set to find out the structure within 20 meters so here check apply search distance and write 20. Here we see many spatial selection method uh, but which one we want to select. Here we only consider the structure within 20 meter those are within the given distance or even touch the buffer distance. So here we use the default intersect the source layer feature if i said you to find out the structures whose are completely co contained within 20 meter buffer then you have to choose this one now we choose the default spatial selection and okay now we see that the structure those are within 20 meter distance are selected now i want to rename the structure that i select within 20 meters so open the attribute table of structure and add a field and named it necessary It will be short integer and precision one. Now the structure that are selected, I named it as one. Press OK. Then you see that the all structure those are selected are renamed by one so now go to our questions and we are set to find out the structure based on land uses for each word but if we open the attribute table of the structure that there are no field about word id but there is a word id in administrative boundary layer here we see the word id for adding the 
word id with structure now we use the intersect tool go to intersect and choose input feature structure and administrative boundary if we intersect this then we get the word id within the attribute table of structure so other things will be unchanged press ok then we see a new layer structure intersect of other layer for finding structure based on their land uses for each word we use excel for this analysis so go to structure intersect open the attribute table and export the attribute table i want to export it here and choose the file type as database file i don't want to add this table in arcmap so click no then go to excel and open the file from the location that you saved practice project 2 here is the export output and choose the file format at database file and open it then you get the attribute table in excel now for analysis we use pivot table go to pivot table then choose word id in on field we choose land use in rows Uh, the structure within 20 meter we named it as necessary so necessary from here and here you also see a chart of the pivot table here we see we here we see the structure within each word by land use type now we can copy the table and use it on a map now we go to the, our second questions our second question is calculate the percentage of road based on road area as per their road type in eastward so go to our arc map then we want to calculate the percentage of road so here we use road poly and open the attribute table of road poly here we see that the road type is local road primary road and secondary road so we want to calculate the percentage of road based on road area and as per their road type for each word here we also need the word id but in road polygon there is no word id field so we again intersect the road poly administrative boundary then we get the road poly intersect where the word id exists so open the attribute table of road poly intersect then you add a field and named it percentage then it will be plot then press ok then how can you calculate the percentage of each road area for this you can see that here the 
area of each road click here and right click on it and go to statistics you get the sum of all road shape so copy it and for calculating percentage go to field calculator then percentage equal to shape area total sum press ctrl v from keyboard then multiply it with 100 then you get the percentage of all road now export the excel file I named it export output 3 it will be database table and save it I don't want to add it on arc map now again open excel and open the file and we again use the pivot table for analysis here our pivot table and we are set to find out the word wise road type so here the road type and percentage on value field then we get the percentage of all roads type like primary road secondary road and local road here the percentage of road by each word uh, we can change it as percentage so go to show value as and click percentage of then press ok then we get the percentage of road within each word In this way, by using some geoprocessing tools, you can perform any type of spatial analysis that you need. So, no more today. Thanks for watching. Have fun with GIS.